What to stream in Canada this weekend? Netflix goes Greek God with Cause. Terminator goes Anum. Slow Horses Returns. In 1999, terrorists gained control of Flight 814, kicking off the longest hijacking in Indian history. Over a week, five hijackers held over 171 passengers as they forced the beleaguered crew to fly to multiple countries. This limited series takes you inside the frantic government attempts to keep the hostages alive and the high price to get them home safely. Stream it on Netflix. For many of us, the sight of a new wrinkle can be mildly annoying. For the god Zeus, Jeff Goldblum, the reveal of a fresh forehead furrow spells immediate catastrophe. It turns out that trouble is a brewing, given that Prometheus, Stephen Delane, is, in fact, gunning for Zeus's demise, and the newly wizened visage is just the start of some serious issues. The rest of the absurdly stacked cast of this modern Greek mythology drama includes Debbie Mazar as Medusa, David Thewlis as Hayes, Cliff Curtis as Poseidon, and Janet McTeer as Hera. Stream it on Netflix. The long-running franchise gets the anon treatment with a new story set in 1990s Japan. Malcolm Lee is hard at work on an AI system that, surprise, surprise, could go terribly, terribly wrong. Aiko, Sonoya Mizuno, is sent hurtling back through time to keep Malcolm and his family safe from a deadly robot set on destroying them all. And said cybernetic organism is voiced by our beloved Timothy Oliphant of Deadwood and justified fame, yeehaw. Stream it on Netflix. Is being a pop star the most fun job in the world or grueling torture? This miniseries exposes the exhausting schedule maintained by titular K-pop royalty Jesse, Cravity and Black Swan, from dance practice and singing lessons to constant travel around the globe on little sleep. Stream it Friday on Apple TV+. Fashion icons Julia Fox and Law Roach get their own fashion competition reality show on which contestants battle it out to see who can both upcycle and create the coolest, most innovative fits. Stream it Friday on Crave. We recently heard from a source in the know, a reality TV connoisseur gay, that this show is by far the juiciest installment and worth a watch, even if you're not well-versed in the multi-franchise 90-Day Fiancé Empire. The Buckwild trailer has forced us into begrudging agreement. The show covers the would-be spouses traveling to their betrothed home country to meet for the first time. This season, fans can look forward to a woman dragging her ex along, another lady raging about her intended refusing to sleep with her before their wedding, and a man stressing about how to tell his fiancé's unimpressed mom that he is technically homeless. Stream it Sunday on Discovery+. Plus. The Great British Bake Off host Sue Perkins presides over this business competition reality series with an intriguing premise. Pairs of entrepreneurs are given 250 pounds, $445 Canadian, and must double their money each challenge or they're out. Stream it Monday on CBC Gem. Even though watching a live hot dog eating contest sounds like something straight out of idiocracy, we also are 100% going to watch. Longtime rivals Joey Chestnut and Takeru Kobayashi are both champion notions, but which one can pack more in? Tune in to find out. Stream it Monday at 3 p.m. on Netflix. Schlockmeister and explosion enthusiast Michael Bay is making his first venture into true crime documentary with a miniseries about Haddon Clark, a less well-known, yet skin-crawlingly creepy serial killer with a terrifying childhood and a potentially sky-high body count. Stream it Monday on Discovery+. Plus. People are sent to Slough House for one of two reasons. Grizzled MI5 handler Jackson Lamb, Gary Oldman, grumbles. One, they're an absolute loser, or two, they've unwittingly pissed someone off. This group of misfits, however, somehow manages to stumble into big cases all the time. Matrix, Patty Hugo weaving dons a beard and joins the season four cast as a glowering terrorist. Stream it Wednesday on Apple TV+. Plus.